May I introduce you to Mr. Paul down at Worcester Pram Market here, happy estates in Melbourne, but also loads of different products. I've come to see Paul because I'm making a self-sourcing chocolate and orange pudding. I need a cream. Talk to us a little bit about this cream, Paul. Uh, well, we've got St. David's pouring cream here. St. David's based in Gippsland, the factory's in Fitzroy, so we get it out to us like three times a week. Huge. Don't get it any fresher than that, mate. You I, love that. I will take it. Let's go make some pudding. Pour the milk. Butter. And an egg into a cup. Whisk all those ingredients together trying to incorporate the butter into the milk there. We'll pop that to the side. Take a large mixing bowl with a sift over the top. Let's pop the flour, the cocoa. Sift the flour and the cocoa directly into a large mixing bowl. If you get some of those solids there, you can use a spoon just to kind of coax them through. You can add the orange zest directly in with the flour and cocoa mixture and you can always interchange the orange for mandarin as well. Now you can add the brown sugar in. We'll give these a little bit of a mix. And then you can slowly incorporate this butter and milk mixture directly in with the flour and cocoa mix. To make the sauce, take a second bowl and we'll sift the cocoa and some sugar together. To put this together, take a greased baking dish. You can pour the batter directly into there, making sure you've got a high enough lip on there as this will rise a bit. Use your fingers to sprinkle this sugar cocoa mixture over the top. Really carefully pour some boiling water over the top of the pudding. We're looking for one and a quarter cups here. We'll pop this into the oven to cook for 30 minutes until the middle of the pudding is just a little bit bouncy. 